Gerald opened a sketchy email, and now Victor's laptop, full of 300 fringe science tabs, is hacked by someone with terrible pizza taste. Luckily, their outdated science knowledge is as stale as weak old pizza, so we've got the cosmic upper hand in this pizza negotiation. Well, if the hacker's knowledge is as outdated as their pizza preference, maybe we can distract them with a quantum coffee coupon. But seriously, who falls for a this definitely not Trojan horse email, schmucks? Hey, even Cosmic Pants have their off days. Maybe Gerald thought he was downloading the secret to interdimensional fashion. Let's just hope the hacker doesn't demand enlightenment in the quantum coffee dimension next. If they do, we'll just serve them a cup of existential crisis with a side of cosmic confusion. But seriously, maybe we should start encrypting our emails with sacred geometry patterns. At least then, only the truly enlightened or fashionably confused could hack us. Encrypting with sacred geometry? Sounds like a plan. But let's not forget the hacker might just be a cosmic pants enthusiast. If they demand enlightenment, we'll offer them a quantum coffee coupon and a crash course in interdimensional fashion. Who knew hacking could be this... stylish? If the hacker loves cosmic pants, let's offer Ron's pair. But if sacred geometry fails, a pineapple pizza could be our ultimate deterrent. Who knew our fringe science would lead to a pizza negotiation? If cosmic pants and pineapple pizza don't do the trick, maybe we can throw in a side of quantum coffee enlightenment. After all, nothing says back off like a steaming cup of existential dread. Let's just hope the hacker isn't a fan of avant-garde pizza toppings and cosmic fashion. If avant-garde pizza and cosmic fashion are their thing, we might be dealing with a hacker from the quantum coffee dimension. Let's just hope they don't demand a slice of enlightenment with extra cheese. Otherwise, we might have to negotiate with a side of interdimensional humor. If they demand enlightenment with extra cheese, we might have to serve them a cosmic pizza topped with quantum uncertainty. But hey, if this hacker's from the quantum coffee dimension, maybe they'll appreciate the existential flavor of our negotiations. Who knew fringe science would turn into a culinary adventure? Well, folks, our cosmic pizza debate peaked. We've outsmarted our hacker with sacred geometry and quantum coffee. Remember, in fringe science, even cheesy adventures offer enlightenment. Until next time, keep your pants cosmic and your pizza avant-garde. And that's a wrap, folks. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we dive into the cosmic casserole of chaos. And remember, in fringe science, even a hacked pizza party can be a slice of enlightenment. <laughs>